You think you're pretty clever, Therm, with your little stipulation you want to put on our match. You think you can just call me out like that and expect me to actually put my career on the line? While stealing your title does sound pretty promising, I'm not sure if I'm really willing to put my career at stake. I mean, I'll become a future champion in my own right. I don't need to put my career on the line to add some extra influence for me to win the title. I'm going to be a multiple-time WWE champion because I'm just that talented. Nobody else can use the hardcore wrestling style. I have my own unique style of offense that nobody, not even you, would be able to stop. But, you know what? Just to humor you, I'll put my career on the line because I know I'm not going to lose this Sunday. You're the one who should be scared, Thurm, because your title reign, your historic title reign of over a year is about to come to an end. I accept your stipulation. I'll put my career on the line. But I'm not going to lose. My career isn't over. My career is just beginning. And also, Therm, John Laurinaitis has graciously granted me the opportunity to pick an opponent for your match tonight. So why don't you go out there, lace up your boots, and go out to the ring and find out who your opponent is. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mathis97. Welcome back to another episode of WWE 13 Universe Mode. Last time we saw... Well, that's not important if you want to go find that out. Go check it out. But last time on Monday Night Raw, we saw CM Punk not compete, actually, because we found out who his number one contender would be, and it was determined that it will be CM Punk going one-on-one -on -one with the beast, Brock Lesnar, at the pay-per-view. So make sure to stay tuned for the pay-per-view when it does come out. It will be Brock Lesnar versus CM Punk for the WWE Championship. What is this? Oh, a spinning neckbreaker off the top rope. Nice move there by CM Punk to take down Daniel Bryan. Nice enziguri, the head kick. And now Punk back to the face again of Daniel Bryan. We all know CM Punk. He he's been getting involved with some of the World Heavyweight Champions affairs, it seems, throughout this entire universe mode, starting back when he teamed with Inter then Intercontinental Champion The Miz to take on then World Champion Sheamus and then World Champion United States Champion Santino Arella. But anyway... CM Punk, he came out, and he attacked both Daniel Bryan and Sheamus after the match. And, oh, nice double knee back, or wait, no, double underhook backbreaker there by CM Punk. Oh, and CM Punk already looking to put away Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan trying to get some retribution in this one. But CM Punk, he's not going to have any of that. What is this? Oh, I thought he was going to go for the GTS, but instead he's got the Anaconda Vice locked in. The Anaconda Vice is locked in on Daniel Bryan. And the submission expert is forced to tap out by the hands of CM Punk. And CM Punk making quick work of Daniel Bryan in this one. Gets the victory by way of the Anaconda Vice. Forcing Daniel Bryan to tap out. So CM Punk gets his one last hurrah heading into the Over the Limit pay-per-view. But is that going to be enough for him to be able to carry enough momentum to de defeat Brock Lesnar at the pay-per-view for the WWE Championship? Who knows? And now we will see Christian, the Intercontinental Champion, taking on his rival throughout the entirety of this universe mode. It's been Cody Rhodes just seeming to be a stick. I don't know, he just seems to be one obstacle Christian has not been able to overcome yet. What is this? Bulldog out of the corner. 
Nice move by Cody Rhodes. Christian and Cody Rhodes have just been going back and forth ever since the beginning in the SmackDown World Heavyweight Championship Tournament when Cody Rhodes came out and cost Christian the match, and it's all just gone from there. But they're facing off inside of this blue steel cage match right here on SmackDown, so we decided to bust out the blue steel cage. And now Cody Rhodes with a knee lift to the face of Christian there, busting him wide open. And now Cody Rhodes, he waited for Christian to get up to his feet, and he connects with the Alabama Slam. Nice move there by Cody Rhodes. Shades of his former tag team with Hardcore Holly. They were former tag team champions, but now what is this? Oh, Cody Rhodes with a disaster kick off the apron. And by the way, I changed my settings from on the microphone from one to three because it was getting kind of there were some occasional like pops in the microphone where I would get like really loud and it would just mess up. But what is this, Christian? Oh, he just pulled Cody Rhodes down off the steel cage. So I mean, this microphone setting might be a little bit quieter, but as long as it doesn't have the big pops, I can just decrease the game volume. And now Christian, he's still climbing the cage. Cody Rhodes not able to get back to his feet here. Christian, after pulling him down, is Cody Rhodes? Can he get him? Christian's climbing down on the outside. Cody Rhodes trying to climb up on the inside here. But Christian, he's almost there. Christian, he's gonna Christian wins this one. Both feet hit the floor. And the Intercontinental Champion picks up a big victory here over Cody Rhodes. Christian building some big momentum, heading into his Intercontinental Championship matchup against Hunico, who won that triple threat match last week to become number one contender. So it looks like Christian will be taking on Hunico, and he's got the momentum heading into the pay-per-view. These two will be facing off on the pre-show. For the Intercontinental Championship, it'll be Christian versus Hunico. That should be a very good contest. We have two high flyers in that one. The veteran going up against a rookie in Hunico is Christian. Will his experience be enough? I'm sorry guys, I completely bailed out near the end of that Intercontinental Championship match. But anyway here, Mark Henry sweeping out the leg of Thurman, but no. And Thurman and John Morrison, they've been going back and forth the past couple of days. We saw Thurm on UCW Superstars, he challenged Morrison. They, he wanted to up the ante for their contest. And Thurm, he decided to put his UCW Heavyweight Championship on the line for that match. So if John Morrison wins, he'll become the new UCW Heavyweight Champion, taking the title and bringing it to the WWE. But if Thurm loses, or no, if Thurm should win, John Morrison, his career in the WWE will come to an end. That's right, so it's the career versus the title. Thurm defending his UCW Heavyweight Championship against John Morrison at Over the Limits to make sure to stay tuned for when the pay-per-view does come out. That's set to be a great match. God, I sound like WWE now just with their WWE app thing. I'm promoting this pay-per-view. Anyway, nice hurt to take down there by Thurm. And this match was set up after John Morrison came out to confront Thurm earlier on tonight at the start of our show. And John Morrison, he got to pick Thurm's opponent. Thurm said he would take on anyone in the back. 
John Morrison got to choose, and apparently it looks like he's chosen Mark Henry, the world's strongest man, making his debut in this universe mode. And there's a drop kick to the knee there by Thurm. Thurm, he's gonna have to stick and hot, stick and move, stick and hide to avoid the power of Mark Henry here. But what is this? Oh, there's that belly to belly suplex by Mark Henry here, and Mark Henry. He's going to have to overpower Thurm, but nice super kick by the UCW Heavyweight Champion. And Thurm going after that leg with a nice chop block there. Thurm seems to like to target those legs just to do, do a little bit of extra damage, wearing out his opponent, and that's a great strategy. Now the ankle lock, and he just smashes Mark Henry's knee into the canvas. But when you're going up against a guy like Mark Henry, if you want to cut down his power, you want to chop down those tree-like legs of the world's strongest man. That's his weak spot, but Mark Henry looking for a little bit of payback here. And with the shin breaker on the Thurm, I guess turnabout's fair play in this case. And he went for the chop block, and Mark Henry managed to reach down and catch him. Brought him up for that tilt world side slam. And now he's just kicking away at the leg and ankle of Thurm, but Thurm comes back with a spear. He's up to the top rope, and a 450. It looks like, oh, but there's a moonsault there by Thurm, and now What's the champ gonna do here? Open oh, a nice counter by Mark Henry with a shot to the back there of the World Heavyweight Champion Thurm. UCW World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, what is this? Face Crusher there. Face Crusher by Thurm. And obviously, whenever Thurm is in the ring, you know I'm talking about the UCW World Heavyweight Championship, not SmackDown's world title. And now what is this? Thurm, it looks like he's going for something new here. Oh, nice rolling fireman's carry by Thurm. And now Thurm to the top rope. 450. Oh, it looked like he wanted to hit a little bit of extra, do something a little bit extra to try and put down the world's strongest man, but he was able to lift up the knees and block the 450, and now Thurm going back to that leg, just stumps the knee into the canvas, and now Thurm, oh, what's he looking for here? It looks like he's got, oh, he can't be this. Oh, the figure four. Thurm locking in the figure four on the leg of Mark Henry, but Mark Henry, he's got to flip, oh, he had to flip Thurm over to reverse the pressure. And that's going to force Thurm to break this submission hold here. Now Mark Henry, it's his turn. That did a little bit of damage to the knee of Thurm. And now Mark Henry looking to exploit that. So it's a leg versus leg battle here. Both men trying to destroy the leg of the other. And a nice drop kick there by Thurm. And now the UCW Heavyweight Champion. He's got Mark Henry back up on his feet with a headlock there. Oh, and a nice back. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. But anyway, nice kick out there by Mark Henry. At a count of one. We went with that sort of like reverse... Layout neck breaker, flat out. I don't know. He dropped on the back of his head. The point is what I'm trying to get to here. Mark Henry now. He's got Thurman a headlock, but Thurman is able to counter. Nice move there by Thurman. And there's a hurricane taking down the world's strongest man, the WSM. And now Thurman just stomping away at the body parts, making sure to add a little bit of extra onto that leg there. And there he just kicks the face. And now he's got the sleep hold. Sorry, I just burped. But the sleep hold locked in by Thurman. He's trying to wear out the world's strongest man. Set him up for the thermal bomb, which he hasn't done yet in this match, but he did go to that new maneuver, so we're going to have to wonder, will he utilize that against John Morrison? Thurm, you can see, stepping up his game to prepare for the shaman of sexy John Morrison. And Thurm to the top rope, went for the drop kick. Oh, but Mark Henry was too close, and he was able to duck. And Thurm landed sort of on his tailbone there. That could have done some serious damage. But Thurm back up onto his feet here, and he went for the chop block, but a nice drop toe hold taken down Thurm and there's a big roundhouse kick Thurm back to his feet and now with those deadly kicks to Mark Henry and again he's got the sleeper hold locked in trying to do what he can to wear out the world's strongest man just enough that he'll be able to put Mark Henry down without having to attempt the thermal bomb because I don't know if Thurm's gonna have the strength but I guess after seeing that fireman's carry he really showed showcased his power there and now what is this Thurm oh he just stole John Morrison's C4 there that's a shout out to John Morrison right there. Swanton, here's the cover, hooks the leg. One, two, no, but Mark Henry able to kick out at a count of two. Almost a three count, but almost doesn't count. But Thurm, look at the power. He's got the world's strongest man up. Oh, and there's a brain buster there by Thurm because that's what he does. Oh, but Mark Henry slides out of the ring. And I guess me mocking Mark Henry must have caused some extra incentive to get back into this one. I mean, now the referee's in the way and Thurm just accidentally grabbed the ref. The ref is just getting in the way of Thurm here. That is a WWE official though, so maybe Morrison trying to make a statement there. Oh, big rolling, not even a rolling savat, just a savat kick off the top rope. Then a kick out by Mark Henry at a count of one. I, thought, I could have sworn that was gonna be it. Thurm now with the headlock, but a nice atomic drop counter there by Mark Henry. 
And Mark Henry with a big running STO sweeps out. Therm here. Oh, and now Mark Henry going off the ropes. Oh, nice slam there by Mark Henry just with a body splash. And now Mark Henry, maybe he could be going for the world. No, he's just going to hook the leg. One, two, and Therm kicks out at a count of two. That was almost a three count there. Oh, but Therm caught him. Therm got caught. Mark Henry going for the world's strongest slam. Oh, what a nice counter. And a leg sweep there. A nice inverted leg sweep there by Therm. And off the top rope, 450 splash. He connects. Hooks the leg. One, two, and three. It's over. Mark Henry has been defeated in this one. The UCW Heavyweight Champion Therm comes up with a big victory here over the world's strongest man. That, that sure made a statement there. John Morrison, you might want to watch yourself because Therm, after that grueling match with Mark Henry, maybe it's done its damage, though. With Mark Henry wearing out Therm, maybe that was the whole point of John Morrison picking Mark Henry. But it doesn't seem to have worked. Therm making a big statement and sort of just, that just reversed the momentum of this rivalry. John Morrison's going to have to watch out for the UCW Heavyweight Champion. He is ready for the pay-per-view. And is John Morrison ready? That's the question. <laughs> Making his way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, weighing 272 pounds, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. And we're back now, so see Sheamus is in the ring, ready to take on Alberto Del Rio. We're just awaiting the entrance of Alberto. And now Sheamus, he's waiting. But what is this, Alberto Del Rio? Comes out from behind, and with a sneak attack, clothesline Sheamus. And Sheamus just got snuck up from behind by Alberto Del Rio. Wow, so Alberto takes takes out Sheamus here. And sorry about that loading screen, I didn't I think, think cut that off. That he's not at oh, oh well, I, most of those times I'll cut out the loading screens, just started. this one, yeah, I I, that was same. a really short cutscene, so I'm gonna let it go, a nice backdrop there by Sheamus. And now Sheamus, kick to the gut there. And he's got Del Rio by the arm. What is Sheamus going to follow this up with here? Sheamus, elbow across the face. Nice move by Sheamus. And Sheamus with it, dropping the double axe handle. He's got Del Rio off on his feet, so Sheamus not taking that sneak attack too kindly. Del Rio sort of acting almost cowardly there, but I guess you got to do what you got to do to try and wear out the challenger heading into the pay-per-view because it's going to be a triple threat match. We saw Daniel Bryan tap out to CM Punk's Anaconda Vice earlier on tonight. So now it's Del Rio's job to take down Sheamus. And we'll see who can pick up the victory in the World Heavyweight Championship match. Del Rio, a victory here would definitely give him the upper hand. Daniel Bryan already, lo already losing tonight. Del Rio getting a victory here. He would Whoever gets the win here will carry the bulk of the momentum heading into the pay-per-view. Oh, and now a nice chop. Sends Del Rio to the outside. Sprawling onto the floor. Nice move by Sheamus. And now, Sheamus, he's got Del Rio up onto his feet here. And he's going to Irish whip Alberto back into the ring. And now Sheamus is going to follow him in. Sheamus on the offensive here. He's got Del Rio. Irish curse backbreaker. Nice move taken down Del Rio. And now, Sheamus already looking to end this thing. Here's the cover. Elbow across the face. And a kick out by Alberto Del Rio. It's going to take more than a back. Oh, and nice hard Irish whip sending Sheamus to the outside. And now, he's going to Irish whip Sheamus into the barricade here. And Del Rio, again, Irish whipping Sheamus into the other barricade over there by the ramp, the entranceway. And again, Del Rio sends him into a third barricade. I guess he's trying to determine which one he wants to use for offense. And then finally, he's going to Irish whip Sheamus back into the ring here. A referee at a count of four, but Sheamus back outside. The referee has to now restart the count at one. Neither of these superstars can afford a count out here. This match is pretty much all about building momentum. Whoever gets the victory, like I said, will carry the momentum here. Del Rio, Irish whips Sheamus into the barricade here. Oh, and what is Del Rio going to do here? Del Rio, he's not thinking this. Oh, my God, spear through the barricade. Nice move by Del Rio. Referee at a count of five now. Del Rio, he's going to head back into the ring. Sheamus might be done here. 
Referee at a count of six. Is James going to be able to make it back to his feet here? Seven now. Del Rio, he's just relishing this. Referee now. He's at a count of eight. Del Rio just mocking Sheamus in the ring, doing his little taunts. Nine count now in the referee. Ten, Sheamus could not make it back to his feet. He hasn't even moved since that spear through the barricade. And Alberto Del Rio gets a big victory here heading into the title match at the pay-per-view. Del Rio with a big... I can't even describe how big this win is for Del Rio. Del Rio's on top of the world right now as the World Heavyweight Champion. Can either Daniel Bryan or Sheamus dethrone him as the champion at the pay-per-view? Who knows? But anyway, thanks for watching. Keep on YouTubing.